Welcome to Let's Get Writing. I'm your host, Katherine Taylor, and I'm so excited to be back here for the fifth season of my show. Did I say fifth season? <laughs> Yes, I did. We have had so many wonderful guests on this show over the past four years. And why stop now? We're going to bring you another great lineup of entertainment from your favorite authors and songwriters, maybe even a publisher or two thrown in this year. And we hope you'll tune in and support the show. And you can do that in a couple of ways. Of course, you can like us on Facebook at Katherine Taylor Media. You can follow my YouTube channel at Katherine Taylor TV and Instagram, Katherine Taylor NL. So love to see you on those platforms. And uh, don't forget to reach out to me with your ideas for this season. And speaking of that, I had an early start on season five. I sat down on the back deck uh, by the banks of the Exploits River here in central Newfoundland and welcomed Evelyn Jess, singer-songwriter, um, to my patio. And she <laughs> spoke with me and entertained me on that beautiful summer day. And we even have excellent sound effects from my dog at one point. <laughs> That's it. You go live and you, you capture what you capture. Um, Evelyn Jess has done some amazing work and one of her songs, Home to Newfoundland, I featured in the trailer for my romantic comedy, Misty's Misadventures. And that was where I first met her. And she attended my book launches in St. John's and in Grand Falls, Windsor. And I knew that I loved her music and I really, really enjoyed my time that I spent with her. She recently won the Amelia Earhart songwriting contest for her song, Trapassi in June. You have to check that out if you haven't heard it. Absolutely beautiful. And it's just an example of her wonderful talent as a songwriter, but also as a performer. She's wonderfully warm and amazing. And I really hope you enjoy this show coming up with Evelyn Jess. And before I go and give you Evelyn and all of that great stuff, I just want to mention that coming up next week will be Alan Doyle, and we'll be talking about Telltale Harbor, his new musical that toured Newfoundland this September, and Newfoundland and Labrador, too. I believe he was up in Labrador. So that was really fun. And I also shot that show this summer while on the road. So it's been fun. But now I'm back in the studio and going to keep things going from here. So please send me your feedback and ideas. I welcome all your comments and support because your support to me helps me support the creatives across our country, around the world, who are creating books and songs and poetry, you name it. We need to give them our love. And especially in these difficult times, it's harder and harder to market. And, um, and money doesn't go as far these days. So by supporting my show and, and giving me your feedback, we can all help the artist and spread the good word. I hope you enjoy the show. And now here's Evelyn Jess. Welcome to Let's Get Writing. I'm Katherine Taylor and joining me today is Evelyn Jess. Hi, Evelyn. Hey, Katherine. <laughs> I wanna let you know where we are. We are on the bank of the beautiful Exploits River in central Newfoundland, just east of the Bond Bridge. So if you miss Newfoundland, we're hoping to make you miss it more, hey? <laughs> Maybe. So, Evelyn Jess, your stage name, who are you really? <laughs> well, um, so as a girl, I, um, I was, uh, my, so my actual name is Jessica Evelyn Bemister. So, um, you know, starting um, my journey, and I knew that Jessica Bemister wasn't like a name that didn't have that kind of ring to it, like, you know. So I kind of teeter-tottered with different names over the years, like Jesse Solo, and because my first name is Jessica. Um, but uh, so my second name is Evelyn, and Evelyn is uh, my grandmother uh, on my dad's side. Mm -hmm. uh, she passed away when I was seven years old. But uh, I have very wonderful memories of her, and uh, she was a very big influence on my life. And we lived in the same garden as her, so and my pop. So um, I have really fond memories of them. So when I actually thought of the name Evelyn Jess, 
I actually just took my names and just switched them because I was like, I want to bring the focus to Evelyn, my grandmother, mm -hmm. and to see her name up on lights would be like a tribute to her every time. So it, when somebody calls me Evelyn, I get uh, I get a bit filled with pride. And, uh, oh. Yeah, so so Evelyn Jess is, is how I... Is how you present yeah. yourself. And she presents herself as a singer, songwriter from Newfoundland and Labrador, but she originally was from Musgrave Harbor, which is as they say here, just down the road. <laughs> just around the corner, we'll say, yeah, on the Kittyway Coast. Yeah, a very uh, beautiful place. Oh, I love it there. Oh, it's so nice. So in the vicinity of Musgrave Harbor, there's actually a little piece, a little nugget of Musgrave Harbor that's called Ragged Harbor. Mm -hmm. So Ragged Harbor is where I'm from, and that's where I was born and raised. Um, and like, I don't live there anymore. I, I currently live in, in CBS, Conception Bay South, and uh, I love it there because I'm right next to the water and it reminds me so much of home because uh, home, my, my childhood home is right on the water as well. And I grew up just living on the beach and playing in the ocean. And mm. Does so it get any better than that? No, it doesn't. And the fact that we live so close to nature here in this province and can enjoy the beauty unspoiled I mean, you can walk the beach and be by yourself yourself, <laughs> at times. Almost any time of mm. the day, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, which is very, very neat. So you are like many Newfoundlanders, I think, who have a close connection to family and to your grandmother. And I've heard that before from people who want to bring those familial connections forward. How does that influence the music you write? You know, I've always looked at myself as, as an old soul. So, like music for me, it takes me to a place, like in my mind, and it just takes me away from, you know, the stresses of, of everyday life. And so when I envision like writing a song or I, I put myself in a place of memory and I like to, I like my music to take people back almost like a nostalgic sense. When people listen to my music, I want them to, I want to take them on a journey because I mean, songs are just stories. Mm -hmm. uh, they start out as stories, and it's, it's a story that you want to tell. Um, so the words, of course, is always very important for me. And I like to always, you know, pronounce my, my words and my singing as clear as I possibly can so that people get the story and, and what I'm com coming across. So, yeah, so that influences. I mean, Newfoundland and family has a big influence on my music, and I think it always will. Mm -hmm. And story, that word story, because story is what brought you and I together, a collaboration of a writer and a songwriter singer. I had written a story at which became a book, Misty's Misadventures, and I needed a song. I was doing a video book trailer and I needed a song. And I like to say, your song found me. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a story that felt right for my story. And so we began to collaborate and I think that in the industries that we're in, these collaborations are so important. How, how do you feel about it? Um, super important. Uh, you know, these uh, th uh, the scope of projects that we want to uh, create, you know, they're, they're so big and they contain so many different elements that you can't take on all those things by yourself. Um, so like collaborating with other people, whether it be, you know, through film or um, through TV or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's a collaboration of the community coming together to create something great. And uh, I think that's super important to, uh, to put out there because, you know, in this industry, it can be almost competitive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People mm -hmm. have like this competitive spirit to always like be outshine one another. And to me, like that is just not the motto that I want to go by. I will, I like to, I like to lift everyone up, you know, I'm up, so I like to bring everyone up with me and, and rise each other up. I mean, well, what we've, we've been doing that. We've been <laughs> taking the boat up. You were at my book launch in St. John's at Bannerman, Bannerman Brewing Company, and you were at my book launch here in Grand Falls, Windsor, last night at the Gordon Pinson Center for the Arts. And you were such a wonderful part of that for me. Not only were you in the trailer, your voice and your music, but you were there to perform for us, which made 
all the difference in the world to my event in bringing people into the feeling of Newfoundland and why our art and what we're creating is so important. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, <laughs> and thank you. I, I, wanted, I want to, before we go too much farther, I want to give let people hear one of your songs and then we'll talk more. But would you share um, Home to Newfoundland, which is a song that you've shared with me collaboratively. <laughs> would you share it with the audience? Of course, I would love to share a song with you today. So to give you a little bit of backstory mm -hmm. on uh, Home to Newfoundland, uh, me and my partner, we used to do seasonal jobs back and forth to Nova Scotia. And we did that for three years. Um, so as a Newfoundlander, I always, uh, you know, knew what it felt like to, to come home and, uh, and just, just longing for, you know, the shores of Newfoundland and to be by the water and everything again. Um, so I always knew that I wanted to write a love song to Newfoundland, um, just uh, because it's a very special place in my heart. I, I've lived in other places in Canada, but um, there's something magnetic about this island. It always draws you back home. So, uh, so this is Home to Newfoundland. Want to wake up to the smell of homemade bread And put the kettle on the stove Breathe in the smell of salty air And take a walk along the shore I want to go home to Newfoundland I want to go home to Newfoundland Oh, I want to go to Newfoundland Want to feel that northeast wind Blow through my tired bones Watch the fog rolling in It'd be so good on the soul Well, I want to go home to Newfoundland yeah, I want to go home to Newfoundland. Oh, I want to go to Newfoundland. Bring me closer to the water. Bury my feet in the sand. fire Well on the beaches of Newfoundland And I want to go home to Newfoundland Yeah I want to go home to Newfoundland Yeah I want to go her home to Newfoundland Yeah, I want to go Her home to Newfoundland Now I want to go Her home to Newfoundland And I want to go Her home to Newfoundland Yeah, and I want to go Oh 
if that doesn't make you want to go to Newfoundland, I don't know what would. <laughs> oh, Evelyn Jess, you have captured that, I think, that sentiment in our hearts that, at least for me, when I hear that, it makes me homesick and I'm here. So, like, how, how did you, I mean, it's a show about writing, so when you thought about it, and hey, I noticed you didn't use the word understand in there once, thank <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> we all know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but, you know, how did you tap into those feelings where were you when you came up with the idea for this song and just take us there so yeah so back in um, uh, I think it was 2016 um, so there's an RPM challenge that happens every year in February so the RPM challenge is uh, um, so it's a challenge to musicians it's not competitive in any way um, but it's a challenge uh, to write and record uh, an album in the month of February like just mm -hmm. a, a project to do so um, to kind of jumpstart my writing and stuff like that, I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to create an RPM album. Um, so I had like a few tunes, and like I said, I had this idea in the back of my mind that I want to write like a song like Saltwater Joys. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to Saltwater Joys, and like it's just, oh, it's just, it tears at your heart every time you hear it. And I was like, I want a song like that. I want, like I said, my love letter to Newfoundland. And I was living in paradise at the time in my two bedroom basement apartment. Um, you know, just my little laptop and my little thing that I plug my guitar and that in, just a simple little setup. And uh, so I just sat down and, and I was like, it's gotta be catchy. Like I want it to be mm -hmm. catchy. And I just started just playing a few chords and uh, like s for musicians and songwriters, I don't know if it's the same with you, but like sometimes the words come super easy mm -hmm. and sometimes they don't. You have to work a bit hard at it. Uh, but this song, this song came easy. And when the easy songs come, I know they're good ones because mm -hmm. you don't have to work too hard at it because you get in your head too much about it too sometimes. So, yeah, in my basement apartment, you know, sat on my bed or whatever, just you know, I, I want to go home to Newfoundland, home to Newfoundland. And, and like I said, me and my partner used to work away in Nova Scotia. And man, when the layoffs came, <laughs> we couldn't wait to go home to Newfoundland. So I knew the feeling. And I lived in Alberta, too, for a year after I graduated high school. And I only lasted a year up there. I couldn't wait to come home, right? <laughs> there are a lot of people up there that share your sentiment. <laughs> right? And yeah. they are coming home. <laughs> exactly, and it's mm. come home year, and yeah. you know what they say? They say that if all the Newfoundlanders from away actually had to come home, that the island would actually sink, right? Yeah, I think you might be right. Our yeah. biggest export has been people and sometimes <laughs> talent, <laughs> unfortunately, so we're so glad to have the talent here. And it's interesting because when I was looking for a song for my trailer, and I listened to so many many songs when I heard your song I was just like this is it it does have that verse or that line that just stays with you in the way you deliver it and the passion that comes through for sure you. it fit with my character's adventure coming back to the island to find well the herself. book starts where she's driving home to Newfoundland she does, so. yeah and if people want to check out that trailer it's on my YouTube page and you can see where I in incorporated Evelyn Jess's song, and also we've seen her do it. But let's not stop there. I want, before we wrap, I want to talk about one other song that you did, and you won an award for that, and it's called Trapassi in June. Well, tell us all about that, because that's another he heartfelt song. Yes, yeah, so um, it's based on Amelia Earhart, actually, so the world's, of course, you know, world famous pilot, uh, Amelia Earhart. Um, so she actually did her solo trip in Harbor Grace, uh, you know, the solo trip across the Atlantic. Most people know about that. That's the one that made mm -hmm. her mostly world famous, we'll say. But four years prior to that, uh, Amelia actually spent 12 days in Trapassi, Newfoundland, where she became the first female passenger to fly across the Atlantic with two more uh, male passengers. Well, actually one was a co-pilot and mechanic and the other was a pilot. 
So she was just, as she, uh, she explains it, I was basically a sack of potatoes. Mm -hmm. She said I was basically baggage. <laughs> brave baggage. Brave baggage, indeed. If you go indeed. back to that time, she was a very, very brave woman. I think there's aspects of her that we have to love. And well, I mean, yeah. us being, uh, yeah. you know, women, I feel that Amelia Earhart, you know, paved the way for mm -hmm. women like us, um, you know, not afraid to, to challenge the norms in, in society, you know. Uh, back during that time. So during, uh, so when they flew into Trapassi, their plane needed mechanic work uh, done on the plane. Um, so it actually, and they couldn't fly out of Trapassi because if anybody knows anything about Trapassi, it's always usually rain, drizzle, and fog. Oh. <laughs> so they couldn't get out of the harbor for many days because of that reason. So they got stuck there for 12 days. So what's nice about that is she only actually spent two, hour, two hours in Harbor Grace. But she spent 12 days in Trapassi. Mm, so there's a lot of big yeah. history there. And uh, so 2018, an uh, organization called ECHO, uh, they put off a uh, call for musicians uh, looking for somebody to write a song commemorating the uh, 90th anniversary of Amelia Earhart and her time in Trapassi. So uh, I think there was uh, 11 submission songs in total, and mine got selected for the... Uh, for the winner, and uh, there was a collaboration with Up Sky Down Films. Uh, Roger Monder, who shot your who book shot trailer. Mine. Here we go. It's Here a we, big circle. <laughs> yeah, it just all keeps connecting. So Roger actually uh, shot my video uh, Trapassi in June, and that's available right now on uh, on YouTube. You can go find it, Trapassi in June under Evelyn Jess, and the Home to Newfoundland video is also out. You can go watch that. That was released last year in August, and that was actually my debut single. So no. the fact that you picked that up, mm -hmm. like my song just dropped and then like you pick it up for a trailer, it was like, it was kind of the signs that I needed to be like, I think I'm doing the right thing here. I, I think oh. I'm in the right place. Well, I'm glad that I was part of it. And let's give everyone the easy way to reach you. So is it best to find you on YouTube? How, how would you like people to reach out to you? And yeah, you can follow me on the, so Evelyn Jess Music mm -hmm. is the handle. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm me getting too, there. Me uh, too, me uh, too. We're learning. <laughs> we're, I've downloaded it last week, so so I'll be there. Um, but yeah, Facebook and, and Instagram mostly. Also, there's a band camp. Now, my band camp has all of my, uh, like the RPM challenge that I talked about. Mm -hmm. Those songs are actually up there. You can go listen to my own recordings of uh, my songs, and that's on Bandcamp. Ev search Evelyn Jess Bandcamp. You'll find it. All my stuff's there. And uh, yeah, and EvelynJess.com actually is a website, and you can go and send me a message through there or whatever you like. Find, find me all different kinds of ways. <laughs> we made that easy for you. So again, Let's Get Writing is the show where I meet up with wonderful people who are creative writers in many genres here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And um, you can follow me on my YouTube channel at Katherine Taylor TV. And we are going to get Evelyn to take us out now with Trapassi in June. Is that sounding good? Yes, okay. that will be lovely. Thank I would you love for joining us. Mm. I'll let her have the last word today. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. So uh, when they when they put out the call for musicians, like I said, they uh, they said they wanted a song like commemorating the time that Amelia spent there. So when I sat down to write this song, just like Home to Newfoundland, I envisioned myself back in 1928 in Trapassi and just imagining the feel of how the people must have felt, you know, during that time. So, so this is Trapassi in June. A plane circled round and round The people couldn't wait The children all sprinted Grabbing their coats And the maritime cowboys Were tying their ropes It was like nothing they ever knew They want to sing along. <laughs> We're out in nature. 
They couldn't believe their eyes This woman from the skies They asked, are you really gonna cross the Atlantic? She said, I'm a damn well try And then it came time to fly away People watch by the shore And some of them parade Hoping she'd make it through Trapassi in June Trapassi in June Trapassi in June When she made to the other side well, she exclaimed what a ride and of all of the places that I've ever flew nowhere quite compares to Trapassi in June Musical accompaniment from the dog. What can we say? My own backup <laughs> singers. God love them. Not great harmony. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.